beautiful shop. It's your first time. Mm -hmm. Well, I know it's quite a magical experience. So you're welcome to just take your time, take a look around, see what you like, what catches your eye maybe. Okay, and I'm going to be right here whenever you need me. Ready? Okay. So did any of the stones speak to you at all? Mm hmm Well, I would love to show you around, see what I have here, and see if you like any specific ones so I can share them to you up close then. Okay? Great. So let's start with some of the more popular ones. Some of the ones that I always suggest as beginner stones. Mm -hmm. And that would be probably clear quartz. I like to enhance sometimes my crystals by shining light on them. And it works best when shined from a distance. So that you can see the beauty of the stone. Uh, clear quartz is quite powerful in stabilizing energies, sometimes amplifying energies as well. And it's just a great cleansing stone too. In this case, it's a point, so it's just a self-standing point. So some time was a part of a bigger cluster. Okay. You can see a lot of nicks and nacks inside of it. It's very interesting. And of course they come in smaller sizes, like these small points. It could be interesting for you too to start with. But my favorite This gorgeous chunk of a cluster. I'm not sure how well you can see, but this specific one has a lot of rainbows in it. I hope I don't shine too brightly. Stabilizing energy. I love clear quartz to clean other stones. It is wonderful to wear uh, as jewelry as well. And it's great to have in any room of the house. So just bring more peace, more tranquility to the environment. Mm -hmm. So that's just again the beginner stone for you. Very easy to work with. Let's look at something more interesting. How about that? We'll look at malachite. And in this case, this is velvet. Can you tell me why it's velvet? Yes, because of its beautiful shin. It catches light wonderfully. 
meditation or chakra healing. So it's very easy to work with. As I said, just helps to bring in love into everything that you do. Okay? So that's an option too. Look at fluoride. How about that? I have two types of fluoride here. I'll show you both. This one is more faded looking, but you can see. Share you up close real quick. So as you can see, it is an extraordinary creation of nature. Luminous, vibrant, and it's a crystal like no other. It has a very stable, calm frequency. Helps to bring order during chaotic times. Promote Thought, focus, concentration. Uh, oftentimes, it has these multi colored bands in it, a lot of little chambers, and it's just so captivating. It helps to energize all chakras. Encourages ideas, brings in confidence, self sufficiency, helps to release suppressed emotions. It is a wonderful dream crystal, so it protects the mind during sleeping hours. It under the pillow or under your bed to, um, to help with night terrors or sleep paralysis. Overall, it just has a very wonderful stabilizing effect. Helps you think through feelings when you feel overwhelmed or confused. And uh, it just helps to free your mind and spirit. One of my favorite ways to meditate with fluoride is to have two pieces in my hands. It can be small pieces too, it don't have to be big. Have two fluorides in your hands. And then have two smaller pieces placed above your eyebrows on 
each side. And you would lay down, relax, and meditate, either listen to music, guided meditation. And this action helps to balance your hemispheres of the brain, helps to bring stabilization and removes unwanted thought patterns. I, I highly recommend fluoride to you, okay? Oh, another thing, it was one of the first stones to be studied as a fluorescence, fluorescence, I believe. So it's just an interesting fact for you. Therefore, it's called fluorite. Okay. Um, how about this wonderful black tourmaline? I don't need to light this one up. Maybe just to show you the structure. Tourmaline is one of my absolute favorite stones, and I think it needs to be in everybody's collection. Black Tourmaline has wonderful striated structure to it, so it's elongated. Lines up like this. It is, in my opinion, the most powerful grounding stone. It has a lot of beautiful benefits to it. Black tourmaline promotes a sense of power, self confidence, more objective view of the world. Empowering helps you during challenging times when you're dealing with hard circumstances. It is a stone of purification, helps to cleanse negative thoughts, helps you during anxiety when you have anger issues or have feelings of unworthiness. So it helps to overcome substance abuse and suicidal thoughts and tendencies. So it's great for people who worry a lot or obsess a lot. And it gives you the ability to view the world objectively, more neutrally, creates this positive attitude in you. It's also a neutralizing stone, helps to purify and neutralize your environment, as well as your mind and body. It has electrical properties, so when it's rubbed or heated, it creates positive and negative charge, and it attracts pollutants and dust, paper. And it's important to, of course, cleanse it very well. Also in the water, through smudging, Sometimes in salt as well, because it's quite solid, okay? And as far as meditation goes, I prefer to place this in my feet as a ground to, to the earth energy. And it helps to enhance your well-being, helps you just feel more ground understanding things a little bit better. I absolutely love it. I'm actually wearing a necklace with a black tourmaline right now. So, that's definitely 
definitely something for you to think about. It's also quite heavy by itself. It's grounding because it takes you down. And it's black color. Cannot be more earth related, can it be? So, it's a gorgeous stone. Okay. Since we're talking about grounding, I will show you a small key. This is the smoky quartz. It's a little dusty. Smoky quartz is partially clear quartz that has darkened tops, as you can tell. The stone is good for psychic protection you can also with grounding any dark stone is very good for grounding it's quite a rule of thumb and it's a purifying stone as well and it comes in clusters and other shapes too if you're interested. Right. So let's do something interesting. I'm going to show you now one of my favorites. It's called Kunzite. So Kunzite is quite a unique stone. It can be a little bit expensive and oftentimes is heat treated or colored which I suggest you look for pure stone because it has a very interesting effect to it so you can see that it's quite clear maybe a little bit pink a little bit lilac color but not very prominent but that changes as soon as you shine light on it becomes purple, violet color. And that's when it actually creates its color. I'll show you up close real quick. So Kunzite is a stone of unconditional love. It is often called a woman's stone. And it is particularly supportive for young uh, mothers or first-time mothers or single mothers. Uh, to those who carry and care for the young. So it is a good stone for sleepless babies, overactive children, it's an excellent, excellent gift for girls entering puberty, for women who go through transformations. It is a very powerful healer of emotional body. And uh, it has pure energy, pure joyful In palest pink to light violet hues, it is a stone of emotion. It helps to open and connect the heart to the mind and stimulates the communication between the two. Encourages to release the walls and be receptive to the experience of abundant, unconditional love. So it, it's very bright, very beautiful. It's my 
favorite stone as of lately. When you meditate with Kunzait, it opens the heart to experiences of universal love. And it's the closest stone you can find to match the frequency of oneness with the divine. Isn't it great and amazing? So when you hold the stone vertically to your body and meditate with it, it helps to align chakras in one. I cannot get enough of the purpleness. <laughs> this gorgeous, gorgeous violet color. That is just breathtaking color. So juicy. <laughs> I love it. And I'm even wearing one. It's a little bit small, but it is here, so um, the stone has been coming into my life unexpectedly. And I'm very excited because it is my absolutely favorite stone. <laughs> so it took my heart for hostage. So let's see what else. Um, how about I tell you a little bit about calcite? Now, calcite is one of the broadest varieties of crystal. I'll show you this one real quick. So this one is yellow calcite. And I truly have to show it to you up close in order for you to see its true beauty. Uh, calcite has a wonderful, quite powerful energy to it. Uh, the list of different varieties of this crystal is quite long, uh, but all colors are helpful and they're powerful amplifiers and cleansers, particularly of the emotions. It is a very affordable stone. The basic makeup of calcite is calcium carbonate, salt, It has a lovely, shiny look to it. Uh, they may be transparent or opaque, have mixed colors, oftentimes have different minerals mixed in or included in it. And uh, I guess one of the most dis descriptive qualities has a very soapy, waxy texture that it has that makes it stand out greatly. Calcite is great for connecting the emotional body with the mental body and they help to incorporate heart-based thinking into your everyday thinking. Uh, let me show you another one. I have three different types for you to see. Here's another one. See how wonderful the structures are? Isn't that gorgeous? So, calcite is wonderful for any environment, even if it just 
stays in a corner somewhere. It's great to have in each bedroom as it just emits wonderful energy and sucks in negative energy. It aids you to adjust your thinking, helps you learn new concepts. Calcite is a great stone to conquer laziness. It is an energizing stone, for sure. It helps to feel vitality and feel more energized. It's an excellent stone for healing. something like this would be good for you. Then we have amethyst, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's definitely one of the bigger clusters that I own. I'm sure you close a little bit. Amethyst is an incredible stone. My personal Quite a universal stone. It's believed to bring good luck. As well as helps to fight destructive tendencies such as gambling, drinking, using different substances. It's really great to put under the pillow or mattress as it helps with insomnia and just stimulates pleasant dreams. It's great to use for children who have nightmares or are afraid of the darkness. Purple amethyst has been highly estimated throughout the ages for its beauty and power to stimulate and soothe the, emo uh, the emotions of the mind. It is a semi-precious stone in today's qualifications, but to the Asians it was a precious stone was worth at times as much as a diamond. Helps to strengthen imagination, intuition, brings in new ideas, helps to put thoughts into action. 
emotions. It is a talisman of focus and success. Let me show you this smaller one as well. You might quite like this one of course too. It has a beautiful, beautiful shine to it, doesn't it? Very luminous look. Amethyst is the stone of Saint Valentine, and it is believed that Saint Valentine was wearing an amethyst ring engraved with the image of Cupid, and it is also referred as Couples Stone. It helps for relationships to have a deep, deeper connection and soulful communion. It is a wonderful engagement ring or fidelity ring. And it has such a sweet, pure energy because of its purple color. Its vibrations match our third eye chakra and crown chakra. So it's best to meditate with it um, on your higher chakras. So, amethyst is my favorite stone. My engagement amethyst as well, which I really appreciate it. Okay, so it's a wonderful universal stone for everyone to have, I think. Okay, let's see. You see anything else you like? How about we look at celestite? Wonderful light blue color. Mm -hmm. It is called the Teacher of New Age, as it helps to connect with angelic realms. So it's a great stone for meditation, for dream working. promotes the memories of dreams, helps you to connect them to the reality, make sense of them. It is a helpful stone to those who work with crowds or public speaking. It helps to fight the fear and stops the anxiety of crowds and such. It encourages purest form of self-expression. It is very beneficial for shy children to help them try new experiences and it can help to relieve the stress, anxiety, obsessive behavior, brings harmony and balance, and helps to maintain inner peace Helps you to remember details of your dreams, as I said. It is a great stone for working with your crown chakra and your third eye chakra, but also with the throat chakra, as it's blue color, helps to express 
one's feelings and helps to improve your speech. And overall, it helps to bring mental clarity and calmness. And just when you look at it, too, you can see just how soothing this blue color is, just to even have in your presence. It's natural. Very soothing, pleasant color. Mm -hmm. Okay, put this down. I have some citrine here. You heard about citrine? Mm -hmm. I don't really have big clusters, only small ones like this. But nonetheless, they are quite striking in its gold tones. This is a heat treated citrine, and you can tell by bright yellow and white. Combination, which is a little unfortunate, but it's considered that the properties are more of a placebo effect. So as long as it makes you feel good, this is what works. However, you will notice that majority of my crystals are untreated. Some of them are, but majority are not. Okay, so citrine is a great success stone. It's great for wealth, prosperity, if that's what you're looking for. Okay, so let me see what else I can show you. I think we have one stone that we did not talk about, and that is Moldova. There is a lot to say about Moldavite. I guess one of the most important things to note is that it is a stone of transformation. This beautiful stone is very rare. It is a little bit expensive too, and oftentimes has fakes on the market. So Beware. It is found only in Czechoslovakia. Scientists differ in theories of its origins. Everyone agrees that its formation was at the same time as the crash of a large meteorite. Approximately million and eight years ago in what is now the Bohemian Plateau. The rock metamorphosed by the heat of impact and created a true field of Moldavite in two mostly rural areas, Bohemia and Moravia. All of these stones come from there. Moldavite is a talisman that was sent to Earth for spiritual awakening and evolutionary growth. It connects you directly to the universal source. It is a little bit hard work with for people with emotional traumas as one of the things that happens is that Moldavite resurfaces all of your emotions all of your traumas it transforms you by bringing up everything to the surface and lets you deal with it Transformational stones 
will push all of it outside. All of your worries, all of your fears, all of your insecurities, all will be brought up to the surface for you to deal with. And while it could be quite a hard time to live through, it is for the best, as it helps you to work with yourself, learn how to heal, how to process, how to deal, how to change, if you're truly ready. This will be transformational in a first negative way. So just beware, it is not a beginner stone. When you work with a stone properly, and usually you would pair it with such stones as smoky quartz to ground it. Or clear quartz. Stabilize the energy or rose quartz to bring a more soothing healing effect to yourself while working with it could create very powerful, very strong visionary state. Destinations, merging with the light, out of body experiences. So it is powerful, but it's a real nutcracker. <laughs> it is best to work with a stone. With music, enhance its properties with, um, again, music or visualizations or imagery of some type. It can truly take you to a different dimension. It could clarify the existence of consciousness. connect you to the source, answer a lot of your questions, but again, first, it has to take you places, okay? So, you're welcome to take a look around more if you wish. I have some selenite that we didn't talk about. Selenite stands for Selene, the, god, the goddess of the moon. And oftentimes, selenite spheres actually represent full moon energies. They amplify intention. Amplify energies, but also have very, very soothing aura to it. Has a pearly like look to it. Quite calming and just beautiful to look at. So soothing. Looks like a snow globe. easy to pair with things. It is a self-cleaning stone, so you don't have to cleanse it or charge it. 
cleanses itself and other crystals too. out of this world sound doesn't it? it's almost like a high pitch whistling of some type what do you think you like? So what do you think? Did you like this? Mm -hmm. This one? This one's called the pyrite And it's fool's gold It's considered to be good luck For wealth and prosperity And it's just gorgeous to look at I was mistaken to be for for the goal.